Okay, let's go sideways again. Woo! Just a minute. Yeah. Oh. Hold, hold. Hold, hold. Good morning, everyone. We're here in Baya Juan City and we're staying at Baya Juan Pension House. It's a Spanish style accommodation for anyone that's looking to book a place that's close to Santa Catalina. It's very affordable. We like to describe it as like a backpacker budget. They have the matrimonial suite is where we're staying. They also have standard rooms. All rooms come with AC, hot and cold water, and Wi-Fi, which is the best thing. And it's been awesome. It's a perfect place to stay if you're wanting to visit the Monkey Sanctuary, Santa Bucks, or any nearby waterfall. We can't find this waterfall, so Jose's gonna go ask one of these nice people. The funny thing is that a lot of these waterfalls and places are not on Google Maps, or they are on Google Maps, but Google Maps is not correct. Or at least the directions aren't accessible the way they say they are. So that's why you always have to ask the locals, they know exactly how to get there. Because also there's usually no signs or anything like that for a lot of these places. But they're always willing to help, so. Jose's asking a lady right now. She's kind of showing us the way. Ask for help. The locals will almost always. And if they don't, go to somebody else. They will. You're from Anoseo. Uh, we're from America. America. California. Yes. yes. Yeah, we stayed in Dumaguete for a couple days. We got the Negros last Tuesday. Oh. So we're going to spend like a month oh. seeing everything in or Philippines? longer. In but the Philippines? No, we've been in the Philippines since March. Ah, yeah. Seven yeah, months. We've been seven months here. Ah, okay. We don't want to leave. Ah. We love it. Ah. All right, you guys, as you can tell, we're starting this trek to the waterfall. It was very hard to get to. And so what we'll do is we'll leave a little um, Google map link on the description box of where you have to turn. And from there, you just have to take the street all the way to like almost a dead end. And we are lucky because you need a guide to get to this waterfall. And one of the locals was happy enough to guide us. So he's guiding us now. We'll get his name in a bit. But let's get there. It's muddy right now. So our guide just told us this is like three kilometers. We did not expect it to be that far of a trek. So, uh, hey, we're getting our cardio in this morning. And we don't care about the mud. It's the least of our worries. Hey, bud. What are you eating? I'm hungry, so you wanna share it? No? Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bisayan or Tagalog? Cebuano, Bisayan. Cebuano? Cebuano, ah. Yeah. How's it going, Well, Good. It's going good. The sun is out. We have an amazing guide who's so kind. Um, we're in the middle of Mother Nature. 
That doesn't get any better. Are we getting a little muddy? Absolutely. Sweaty? Absolutely. Do we care? Nope. Not at all. And, and here's the kicker, you guys. We didn't get coffee this morning. Oh yeah, we're operating on absolutely nothing. Also, we've been fasting for 17 hours, which is nice. Yeah. I like fasting, but lately when you're traveling, fasting is not always the best thing to do. It's not, especially now when you have to do a three, three kilometer hike. But here we are, and it's gonna be all worth it at the end. This is probably the most scenic trek we've done. By far, like not even close. Second would be Hooligan in the Thailand. Thailand. Oh, and Casa Roro. Oh, Hooligan is in Luzon. Oh yeah. Oh, that was the most dangerous run. Remember when I fell on my butt? Oh yeah, you busted. Thing is, when we do any type of trekking, either Jose or I are gonna bust our butt, or both of us. Like it's not, it's not even. A, it's a guarantee it's gonna happen. And it's all worth it because you get to see Oh yeah. This. No, no complaints. No complaints. It's part of the adventure. It's really part of the adventure. Honestly, you guys, I applaud anyone who lives this far out from any town or city solely because they're having to make a living of the resources that they have or like the livestock. And even if they don't have the livestock, it's the thought of having to go up that truck that we're doing to go into town and pick up like any produce, vegetables, or proteins they need for the week. And that's a lot. That's a commitment that I can't see myself doing because I even have moments of laziness of going to the store when I was back in the States and the store was only like two blocks away so it's true i so i applaud everyone that lives this far out in the countryside are we almost there okay he's pointing that way you guys so we must be close but do you hear any water i don't hear any water there he goes he can't take up anywhere Do what? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I hear it. I hear it. There we go. Yes. Thank you. I got it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You saw it here first, you guys. Will got help for the first time. I never get help. <laughs> yeah. Will never get help. <laughs> now I'm sweating because I had to get help. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate getting help. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No. <laughs> As our subscriber once said, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. The journey. Do you need some help? I'm gonna find a path for you. Come on, princess. Uh, what's the morale meter at? We are really deep in the jungle. This is not an easy trek. It's so muddy. It rained yesterday, so clearly it's going to be, but it's definitely not a track that would be easy even if it's dry for most people. But we're hoping it's worth it. It's already worth it. We like this type of stuff, so it's fine. But we have our heads down trying to like not bust our butt. Balance this huge camera and gimbal so we get good footage. So it's like, it's a little slower than normal, but uh, we're getting there. We'll okay. feel better when we get to the waterfall. We hear it, so at least we have that. Some flat land, finally. <laughs> we really thought we were gonna walk all flat land when we got here, because the majority of it felt like it. No, no, not at all. But you will pass through people's homes. Well, not like through their home, but like through properties. So we're almost there. Morale levels were at all-time low earlier. 
But now they're spiking back up. We're still going, guys. It is quite the trek. So over there, you guys, we see the end goal. What a journey it's been this morning. We should get there. Let's just go. Let's just go. Yeah, it's very steep and we cannot record this probably. Otherwise, for obvious reasons. So let's just go. We're so close. We've been doing this for two hours. Let's go. Let's Sorry. go. Let's go. Okay, let's go sideways again. Woo! Just a minute. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. Oh shit, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Hold, hold. 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 You got it? Yeah, you do. Hold, hold. I can do barefoot. These these shoes are terrible. These shoes are terrible. Barefoot. Yeah. My feet get grip. My feet can grip. Yeah, I'll sit there. Yeah, let's take off our shoes. Thank you. No, let me take my shoes off. I'll... Yeah. Oh my god. Who? You okay? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. 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 I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little shaken up right now. Um. Whew. Holy crap. Well, we made it. But I almost fell off the cliff. Like, I was hanging. Thank God. Thank you, God. Legitimately, thank you, God. For this strong very little tree that has so much strength that held me up um, that kept me dangling from falling down all of this like we're talking high we were we were we were up high like I'll show you the height of the waterfall so you can get an idea of how far I was hanging and then to make it worse our guide or to make it better our guide was trying to save us or get me but when he held on to me he slipped and fell and now he's hanging even lower than I am. Thank God he has good grip on my 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 leg and I wasn't sweaty, which thank you God, because I don't know how my leg wasn't sweaty. Anyway. So then he's worried about me getting up. I'm like, no, 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 you you get up. I can hold on. I'll find something. If I fall, that's fine. I it would suck, but I don't want to be responsible for somebody else getting hurt. Uh, so he's able to pull himself up and then when he got up, he was able to help me. But guys, I am shook. Sure. I am shook. It was an easy, it was an easy slip. It wasn't because anybody did anything wrong. It wasn't a wrong step. It wasn't anything. It was literally just, that's the terrain we're in right now. And one little slip and I had the camera in my hand. That was another thing. I was trying to save the camera more than I was trying to put myself up and make myself safe. I was trying to protect the camera. And we literally, I literally just told Jose as we were walking here, I'm going, there is no chance in hell that we need to be walking and doing all of this with a big camera and a big gimbal. We need to be able to get a GoPro, a nice GoPro 11 something nice that can capture the footage so we have less to hold on to because it's not worth risking for a camera. It's really not. And the footage is gonna turn out great either way. We don't have the money for it so we can't buy it, but one day. I'm shook guys, I'm shook. I never, thought that would happen but God's good I'm here so thank you God thank you to our guide and thank God it wasn't Jose that would have that would have freaked me out that would have freaked me out I'm just a little shook I would have been freaked out if it was my babe I legitimately would have been freaked out because I don't want anything ever bad to happen to him ever Okay, well, that's a three minute talk with you guys, but um, let me show you how high I was. Let's do that. Okay, so here's this, right? You can see this? Uh, you can't really see it. Well, either way, the cliff is hanging over this part, so it's like a dead drop down. It would have been a, like an insanely drop down in over all this rock and ruggedness. So, uh, wow. <laughs> Our tour guide just can't stop laughing at me. Man. Thankfully, he told us, take off your shoes. It's the shoes, man. Dude, he's the best. He is the 
best. Just when I thought I was off the hook as well, I take one step at the very bottom and slip and land on my touch. You guys, like this is not, this is not for the American truckers that think they could do it on Converse shoes, chucks, because it's pretty slippery. It's insane. Yeah, I'm still shook. I worried more about it. But the waterfall, I mean, the waterfall is pretty. It's just, it's pretty. a lot just happened right now that you, you kind of have to get it, process everything. The man that pulled through, <laughs> I would be lost without him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Woo. No problem. Oh, this man. guy got me. He saved my life. Woo. So we have something to all hold on. He's got a vine. This is the man. And he is just. I'm going to let you go first. Okay. He is incredible. He is incredible. This man is going to go home later today and share this story with not just his family, the whole town of how two Americans... Yeah, we're gonna go right, now. How two Americans cannot truck for their life with them. Guys, this has truly turned out to be a legit mountain jungle adventure. I mean, we just left the first waterfall. He guided me back up and downstream to the second waterfall. He just left to go get well. And honestly, we've never experienced anything like this before. So it's great to know that we have a guide. We were gonna do, we were going to do it without a guide. And you would have seen what, what would have happened to Will had that been the case. So we're extremely thankful. We're gonna do the second waterfall and then we're just taking an alternate route back home. He said maybe a little longer, hopefully not. It's already been a long trek to begin with. Um, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna wait here, enjoy this little view while Will makes his way towards me. Over and out, guys. These kids are running laps on us. I mean, they're going up and down these hills quicker than we are just like trying to gain our balance as we go step by step. Like, power to them. I see Will over here. How's it feel? Amazing, isn't it? I can go through my whole body in here. <laughs> yup, I can. Oh my god. These kids are amazing. Our guy just went through it with Will and he's over here just has the biggest smile on his face. So power to him for being so resilient. But this is the second waterfall. Um, it's a little murky brown because it had just rained the night before. But he says it's usually turquoise blue, right? Yeah, and I can't do drone because it's, I have no signal. So no yeah. GPS to fly my droney drone, which is fine. It's so beautiful from down here and I think it's time for us to scale back up because we're hungry, we're thirsty, and we just gotta recover. And you, what do you have to recover from? You're the one who's hanging off a cliff. My butt slid. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, true kidding. though. It's hey, man. Let's oh, go. Man. walking back. Hey bud, can we join you? It is hot up here. No, girl, ain't nobody coming over you. Don't come. Damn. I was about to go lay down in the bed. Yeah, he's about to go into the house. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> We're lucky enough to be invited by this person's home going up the mountain to get some water. You buy me some for water. Oh, oh yeah, look at that you. picture. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get some water. 
I need another what? one, please. Yes. <laughs> I'll take the whole pitcher. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's not enough water for me today. Oh man. No, take it. Take it. Well, thank you. Honestly. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Back on anytime April. I'm oh, coming back anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it next year when we're here. We'll be here again oh, next my year. Gosh. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you again, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> we're done. We finally made it. That turned into literally almost a five hour day, five hour trek. It was probably the hardest trek we've ever done. But it is, actually. Obviously, it's because we didn't pack the right hydration amount. Also, we didn't have any food beforehand, so we we're probably running out of like steam. zero to none energy. Yeah, yeah. we were out of steam. But if you're watching this, thank you again to our guy. You, thank you. Like, honestly, I can't say thank you enough. Not just for guiding us, but like, help me when I was dangling off the cliff and then you were dangling off the cliff. <laughs> it sounds more dramatic, but it, it's it not was more scary. It was legit. It, it was, was we were legitimately legit. dinging off. It was scary. Uh yeah. Um our advice don't do this hike or don't visit this waterfall up until April. April. When it's when, dry. When it's dry season. So they even suggest it because it's just so there's no perfect path and then mm. it's just slippery oh, man. and it's steep and then you you do a lot of up and down up and down you do not realize that mm -hmm. but uh we're gonna, it's still beautiful we, we're leaving with a memory lots yeah. of memories so we're gonna get going we're hungry we're gonna go get some food we'll catch you guys next time love you guys love you guys later later